A game that appears highly likely to deliver in every way. Two very able teams ready for a top-class confrontation. And no one is taking anything for granted on this huge occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. An atmosphere of excitement and anticipation here in North London at the home of Arsenal. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Arsenal facing Barcelona. Well, they've got everything needed for a good game here. Two motivated teams, a vibrant atmosphere and some very good players. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Well, Bukayo Saka is a player capable of taking any game by the scruff of the neck. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing from him? Well, he has many attributes, but he's at his most dangerous when crossing the ball. He really does deliver a good cross. the starters for Arsenal Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield and rather than use a strike partnership they've gone with just the one player in attack well this is what we think for Barcelona well it's great to see both teams using wingers it's now just a case of which team uses them best and which pair get the better crosses into the box it should be a good watch And this confrontation is underway. Tomiyasu. Rice with it. Bukayo Saka. Nicely timed tackle. Balde. Delivering it into the box. Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. Gundogan Jules Kunde on the ball effective challenge the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances well there we have it the first yellow card of the game and he's going to have to be careful now there's a long time to go here said about that free kick the better I think Kunde here's Rafinha Oh, 
Marseille, no shortage of space for Barcelona. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Tommy Yasu. Rice with it. Arsenal had too much for their opponents in the win against Roma. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Yeah, winning a tight game 1-0 away from home is always a good result. They certainly worked hard for it. And when you look at the two teams today, I'd expect them to win again. They should be too strong for their opponents here. Lewandowski. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. And Barcelona being afforded too much space. Lewandowski. Kunde. Oh, great attacking play. But a good piece of tidying up. Tommy Yasu. Rice with it. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Superb block. Lewandowski. Good physical play. Oh, super piece of play. Lewandowski now. Oh, good use of the ball. Lewandowski. Jules Kunde on the ball. Good looking move. Oh, nothing productive really. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. He got a good palm on it. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before Barcelona score here. They're certainly piling on the pressure. They could easily be ahead now. Arsenal have given it away. Frankie de Jong. It's with Gundogan. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Kunde. This is Robert Lewandowski. Pedri. Promising move from Barcelona. A fine reading of the situation. Teammates available. And he has the measure of his man. And he put it in. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. Well, assessing Bukayo Saka's first half contribution, how would you sum it up? Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball. And hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. And the second half has begun here in North London. Lewandowski passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead and a strong glove on the ball from the keeper Martin Odegaard Rice with it Grossard it looked as though they had attacking momentum but not so now, was that challenge in the grey zone? Play on. 
getting forward. Lewandowski. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Jorginho. Twice with it. Martin Erdegaard. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Rafinha and room to run for Barca on the wing Lewandowski happy to pass the ball but remaining patient well it's great when you can rely on your keeper and eventually goalkeeper's ball well you can sense the relief amongst his teammates but what a first save that was Martin Erdegaard. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Kunde. Christensen. Lewandowski. And back to De Jong. Oh, he looks threatening. Still passing it around with authority. Rafinha. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. Martin Erdegaard. Nicely timed tackle. Balde. And Barca exploiting the space on the wing. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. And a substitution in the offing. Space here for Barcelona. Rafinha. Ten minutes remaining here. 
Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Balde. This is Robert Lewandowski. Gundogan. Rafinha. Happy to take on the shot. Nicely blocked. Lewandowski. Pedri. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. And that'll be a Barcelona ball. Time for a change then. decided that two additional minutes are in order Lewandowski and is this the moment for Lewandowski oh it's in and that might be the goal that clinches it for them no looking back now surely Well, just look at the bend he puts on this. It's good technique and perfect placement. That's a top quality finish. So the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. You're absolutely right, Merrick. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, Rafinha was in fine form in the course of that game. Stuart, your thoughts on his contribution? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. 